Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sakura Cherry Blossom Watch for High Park on April 29th, 2023. Rain, rain, and even more rain are how we will end the Sakura Hanami season this year. Cherry blossom petals have already started to fall and will continue to do so now that the peak bloom is over. How much time we have left to see the beautiful blossoms depends on how intense the rain and wind will be over the next few days and the week ahead. Lighter rain and low winds will tend to knock down about 10 to 15 percent of the blossom petals daily, whereas stronger winds and heavier rain, like thunderstorm conditions, would have a more significant effect of knocking them down more quickly. One thing for sure is the rain and overcast conditions always help to make some wonderfully dramatic photos, as shown here. I wasn't alone in braving the elements this Saturday, and with an umbrella in hand, I made my way around the park to share these videos and photos of how Hyde Park looked this weekend. The one benefit is that fewer people tend to venture out when the weather could be better. This always makes it easier to get around and take your time to really capture some great photos without worrying too much if you're in someone's way. I also love how the rain helps all the colors of the park really come alive with vibrant greens, purples, and pinks that all sharply contrast the bright white blossom petals. Leaves on the trees also indicate that the blossoms will soon fall. Once they come in, they will eventually replace the flowers as part of the tree's natural process. As much as we love to view the cherry blossoms in full bloom, we should also enjoy the falling petals. The Japanese even have a word for it, Sakura Fabuki. Translated, this means cherry blossom snowstorm, which on a windy day is something you may experience as you stand under the sakura trees as the blossoms begin to fall and float like snowflakes in the wind. The whole process from bud to bloom reminds us of the fleeting nature of life. We should enjoy it while it lasts and cherish the memories made and experiences felt. The life of the cherry blossom bloom is very short and every spring reminds us to take the time to truly appreciate the moments we have with people in our lives and all the beauty it has to offer. Here are some more beautiful photos taken in the park today. With the rain continuing well into the week, these will be the final days to see what is left of the bloom for this year. Remember that even though you may have missed the peak bloom, there is plenty of beauty in the blossoms still on the trees. Also, take note that many other flowers are only now beginning to open, including the magnolias, tulips, and of course the other Japanese cherry blossoms, Akibono and Fugenzo, which are still to come in the next week or so. I'll talk more about all of that in a future video. And that wraps up this episode of Zagula Watch. Thanks for watching. Please comment below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, you can always visit sakuranhypark.com to see the full update and high quality photos. Be careful, be safe, and watch for more updates soon.